Well, Fauda as a series is almost a household name in many parts of India. I must confess, I've seen each episode probably twice. It is absolutely delightful to have Sahi Halevi over here with us in India. He's one of the stars of Fauda, uh, which has sort of redefined a particular genre of films out of Israel, series out of Israel, uh, which looks at the role of, of the Mossad, of their secret services, and the fight against terrorism at a very basic level. It's great to have you over here in India. You are, of course, a superstar, uh, not just in your own country, but in this country as well, among your fans for sure. What brings you here? First of all, thank you very much for your kind words, Vishnu. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. I must confess it's unfortunately my first time in, mm -hmm. in India, but uh, it was a dream for me to arrive here. And I, on this occasion of the 30 years celebration of the friendship between yeah. India and Israel, and the Independence Day of Israel, and ultimately we're very close to your Independence yeah, uh, Day. So for these celebrations, I was invited, uh, and I'm, I feel very fortunate to, uh, you yeah. know, to finally come here. Yeah. And then, but I got to ask you first up: When is the next installment of Fauda coming? Because you know we we need to book our time well in advance to sort of check honestly, that out. Honestly, honestly, I don't I don't know, and probably if I would have known. You wouldn't, wouldn't have, have been able you. to tell so, me. Yeah. Or you could have told me, but then you'd have to kill me, you know, exactly, Father's Day. Exactly, Or so make you sign. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but, but you are working on it. I mean, would that be fair to say that it's, it's actively happening? It's, uh, I think it's been filmed. Uh, right. it's, uh, and I, I guess it will probably come out, you know, next year or... Right. Uh, you know, and beginning. without, you know, sort of getting into too many details, obviously, of, of the series, was it as intense, was it as fun for you? Uh, to, to be filming it and working it as were the previous installments? I filmed the uh, two seasons of Fauda, yeah. the first season yeah. and the second season. Yeah. So I could, you know, uh, relate to my experience uh, yeah. filming Fauda. Um, it, was, it was a great experience because, you know, obviously it was written, it's, it's a series that everything starts from the writing. The minute right. you have a good script, the minute mm. you have a good story, mm. then it works. The filming was exciting. Mm. Uh, actually, the first season we filmed during uh, kind of uh, a very tense times yeah. in Israel. And one of the experiences I remember is during missiles that are falling, yeah. we found ourselves in shelters, Arab right. Uh, right. actors and Israeli actors right. together. You right. know? And this brings me to, you know, to, to say how blessed I feel yeah. to be able, you know, to be part of, 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 of to be an actor, to be yeah. an artist, because yeah. You, you know, you put aside all the conflicts and yeah. you get to, you know, to create something yeah. together, yeah. to work together. You know, uh, the concept of security in Israel is obviously very strong. Yeah. Um, and the role of the Mossad is something very well entrenched, of intelligence is very entrenched. Um, how closely did you work with intelligence services to get an idea of how the Mossad functions, to sort of replicate, in a sense, how they go about their business? First of all, I must... Uh, correct you it's uh, you know the Mossad is like the CIA yeah. and uh, we're talking about the Shabbat yeah. the Shin Bet yeah. so yeah. it's the Shin Bet that does yeah. all the intelligence work within mm -hmm. uh, the country me personally I can speak only from my experience yeah. uh, I served in the IDF I served in the unit like you see in Fauda so for mm -hmm. me it was kind of something that I know mm -hmm. from the reality mm -hmm. I always say the reality is much more complex than what we see on mm -hmm. television now, as you know, other actors, I would say that you know most of it was maybe you know training on mm -hmm. how to hold guns mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. how to be in combat. Something which you knew, which, which you trained yes, on earlier. Yes, I, I I knew it in advance. And the minute again, the minute it's written, mm -hmm. so good. So you know, maybe it's a coin that portrays mm -hmm. the Shinbet officer. Mm -hmm. Maybe he spoke to mm -hmm. some uh, intelligence uh, people mm -hmm. just to you know to understand, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to add some. Mm -hmm some more dots mm. or you know things to his mm. acting but in general the minute it's written good then you just need to portray your character right. And, right. And, 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 and do it right um, so you know one of the things which fascinates me a lot is this close connection that Israel has with India every year any number of young people from Israel fresh out of your you know training for your armed forces come to India get on to bullet yeah. motorcycles <laughs> and, and and ride down from Ladakh you yeah. know, from, from Leh to Kargil, yeah. parts of which was a war zone many years back, which I covered. But there is that close bond. It's special, isn't it? But, uh, you know, to relate to what you're saying, it's, yeah, it's very like uh, um, 
a lot of Israelis after the military service either go yeah. to South America or to India, to the yeah. Far East. Yeah. I went to South America. Right. I spent a year. Right. But for me, it was always, you know, uh, wishing to, to, you know, I, I envisioned coming to India. Right. Now, I, I, you know, it's, it's amazing to see that there is this uh, friendship that yeah. exists yeah. between yeah. India and Israel. And I guess it's, whether it's the, you know, the days of independence, that it's, yeah. we're, we're, we're very close. And I feel now that I came here to India. Yeah. Maybe even with you know with the character, even with I don't know, the, the the temperament, and I I feel like you know there is a lot of bond between India and Israel, and obviously we have a lot of uh, Indian Jews that, uh, yep, that yep, live yep. in Israel, so we are familiar with the uh, great food and traditions that right. uh, that you have right. with, with your music. Yeah, you know I prepared the song. And you sing yourself. Yeah, you sing I, in Hindi. I, so I sang the song, and in the minute I I I was working on yep. it. Uh, people and I, um, it was posted on the on the um, on the internet. Yes. And a lot of uh, people said that they knew the song. Yeah. Because you know, back in even in the past, people knew like they know Indian music. So, right. Uh, so it's it, it's, it's. So funny. how long did you actually? When did you start singing in Hindi? Because a your your diction is perfect. Three days ago. That's it. Yes. No, no, come on. Are you serious? It must have been a while. Uh, since no, no, you, three, you, four you days. Because uh, your diction was absolutely perfect. So you know, the minute you come from uh, as a musician, you know, you always try to uh, to you know to be focused on the yeah. way that the Indian yeah. language. Yeah. And I know you have a lot of yeah. dialects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, I was really. I know that there is a certain uh, letter that I didn't arrive to pronounce it okay. very correctly but uh, you know it's again the musicality yeah. I think the music has been an important part of your life yes yes I'm basically a musician yeah. singer-songwriter yeah. could you sing for us a few lines <laughs> لو حتى بكون وياك تمالي حبيبي بشتاك لك تمالي عنية تندهالك ولو حوالي كل الكون بكون يا حبيبي محتاج لك Lovely. Thank you so Thank much. You much. It's been wonderful Thank speaking you, to you. Thank you.